Imagine if your Minecraft world had a desert mansion, or the deepest cave ever, or even this beautiful flower valley. Here are the top 20 seeds for Minecraft 1.18. Seed 20 spawns you next to two neighboring villages and plenty of flat plains, the perfect spawn for building and trading. One of the villages even has a giant nether portal. Under this village you'll find an exposed cave that could be a great place for your starter base. Not too far away from spawn, you can find this mansion with another exposed cave. Adventure deep down into this cave and you'll come across the most amazing lush mineshaft. I love how the chains meet with the lush ceiling. This has to be one of my favourite caves so far. If that's not enough, this seed also has a village with two end portals close by. Here's the first one, and here's the second one. Seed 19 has a desert village island surrounded by beautiful coral reef. If you had to be a villager stuck on this island, I think you'd be pretty content. Along with the warm ocean, this village island also benefits from being right above a stronghold. In this stronghold, you can find the end portal as well as a skeleton spawner. It would be hard not to choose this seed, unless you're worried about these coordinates. We're sticking with the village island theme for seed 18. This one has two of them directly opposite each other right by spawn. One of them is a snowy island cliff village surrounded by frozen ocean. Let me know if this house generates like this for you too, or is my game just broken? The second village island is only 400 blocks away. This seed could be perfect for two friends who want to build up two competing islands, or maybe you could establish a trading relationship between the two island communities. Right by spawn, there's also a ruined portal and a shipwreck. Seed 17 is beautiful. Right by spawn, there's this large meadow crater that would be a perfect building location. There's also a mountain range which has the most incredibly picturesque landscapes. These mountains are not just beautiful, but they're useful too. Head into the cave underneath this one and you can find a double dungeon. This cave would be perfect for building a base with an efficient mob farm. Outside of this mountain cave, you can find an outpost village very close by. This seed also has the most insane exposed dripstone cave ever. My mind was blown when I first saw this thing. Imagine coming across this randomly in survival. There's also a mansion on the side of the mountain. Head to the back of the mansion and you'll find a secret waterfall entrance to a lush cave. This seed is packed with so many amazing features. Seed 16 has one of the most amazing villages found so far in 1.18. This village is situated above an exposed cave with a pillager outpost just across the river. These villagers are lucky that pillagers are not the greatest swimmers. Within the exposed cave, you can find the villagers' farms as well as this huge waterfall which has another area of cave behind it where you could build a secret base. Close by, you can find beautiful meadow village with a beehive and views of the ocean. There's also this dripstone lava cave which gives me uncomfortable hell vibes. Seed 15 has one of the craziest and unique village locations you're ever likely to find. This snow village generated on this incredible windswept terrain surrounded by frozen ocean. There's even a super tall outpost that runs through the middle of the island. At the bottom of the outpost, you can find a house which has merged with the cobblestone. It's got to take a brave villager to live here. The outpost house leads you to a large open cove with waterfalls that may spark your imagination. Definitely one of my favourite village finds so far. What do you think about this one? Seed 14 spawns you in a bamboo forest with sparse jungle village and a ruined portal just around the corner. A really nice spawn, but the main feature of this seed is a fair distance away. Here, you can find a woodland mansion island with an exposed lush cave. I just love how this mansion looks right on the edge of the cliff. I hope the occupiers are not worried about coastal erosion. Maybe use this spacious lush cave to build a secret bat cave that leads up to the mansion. Seed 13 has something I've never seen before in Minecraft, a woodland mansion in a desert biome. Does anyone know how it's even possible for a mansion to spawn here? This tall mansion is surrounded by incredible desert landscape. I've never seen desert mountains quite like it. I would love to know what you think about this one in the comments. Seed 12 has some of the best hills I've ever seen. You spawn in a snow biome with loads of meadow hills close by. There's loads of valleys, villages and other structures too. What I love most about this seed is the ice spike hill. There's something magical about this ice spike terrain. There's even a village that merges with the ice spikes and the hill itself. Across from the spikes, there's another hill with an igloo and portal on top. It just seems like there's more hills with amazing features everywhere you look on this seed. Seed 11 has the craziest desert village ever. 
There's a temple right in the middle of the village as well as a ruined portal close by. What you can find at the bottom of this temple is what makes this seed so amazing. Make your way to the temple treasure, break the walls and you'll find a secret hidden house. Maybe it's this villager's job to protect the treasure. I've never seen village generation like this before. Have you? Seed 10 is another fantastic double mansion seed. These mansions are only 400 blocks apart in this beautiful wooded landscape. Both mansions have views of the ocean and one of them has this exposed lush cave underneath it. Further away, there's a snow biome with one of the most gigantic cave systems ever. This thing is absolutely huge and even has a mine shaft so it's definitely worth the travel if you pick this seed. If you like tall things, seed 9 is for you. This seed has the tallest ocean monument ever that goes deep down into an ocean trench. If you're up for the challenge, this could provide a difficult draining project. This seed also spawns you next to tall birch trees and there's even this tall woodland mansion that extends deep down into a cave. This seed also has an incredible dripstone cave. Look how deep this thing is, it even has two different types of mine shaft. Seed 8 is a bit of a broken one. You spawn very close to an ocean ruin inside a shipwreck. This could be a great seed if you're looking for some easy loot or perhaps a structure to turn into a home early on. There's a second shipwreck close by too, so even more treasure to be found. If you could combine any two structures like this in Minecraft, what would they be? Seed 7 is a great multi-biome spawn, perfect for long-term survival playthrough. There's this colourful island surrounded by a river with loads of different biomes around it. There's desert, jungle, plain, savanna and badlands. Build a kingdom on this island and just watch over all your different biomes. There's plenty of villages and structures close by too and if you play on this seed, please update me with your progress. Seed 6 has a breathtaking spawn in my opinion. You spawn on a jungle mountain with a warm ocean and badlands coastline. Just over the mountain, you can find another mountain surrounded by bamboo. This would be a perfect spot for a jungle base. Head back towards spawn and you can find a desert cliffs village surrounded by coral reef which has great views of the jungle mountain and some eroded badlands. Speaking of badlands, this biome is huge. Seed 5 has one of the biggest lush caves I've ever seen. It's so huge that there's not just one, but two mine shafts. This is one of the best looking caves ever. I love recording caves like this. The combination of lava, waterfalls and multiple cave levels just gives me so much inspiration. You could build an entire lush civilization in this thing. I'd love to watch someone do an underground survival in this cave. Would love to see how someone would transform this place over time. Let me know what your build ideas would be for this cave. I've shown plenty of amazing caves, so now it's time for some cliffs. Seed 4 has the most incredible Badlands cliffs right at spawn. This cliff face is absolutely stunning. Take in the views from the coral reef below or take a plunge from the very top. I'd love to build some mountain bases with big windows on the face of these cliffs and just look out over the ocean. Over the cliffs you'll find one of the most impressive Badlands biomes with huge mountains, valleys and space for building your own wild west towns. Seed 3 spawns you next to a hollow savanna mountain. This mountain has loads of exposed caves around its slopes with waterfalls and large cave systems to explore. Would you rather build here or maybe in the mountain's crater? Either side of the mountain is a village. One of them has an outpost and the other has a giant portal. There's plenty of savanna plains for building your farmland too. I originally loaded up C2 to explore this beautiful mountain valley. I was amazed at what I found inside of the mountain to the left. Enter the exposed cave on the mountain slope and you'll see the deepest cave ever. Look how far down this thing goes. You can just about see the cave entrance from the very bottom. I never expected to come across a cave this deep inside of a mountain. You might need feather falling before you try to navigate this one. Go over the mountain and you'll find a slope village with loads of other cave entrances too. Seed 1 spawns you in a small dripstone cave, providing you with some early shelter. Above you'll find plenty of flat plains perfect for building. Head towards this vast mountain and you'll be amazed by the size and length of this flower valley. This valley is full of flowers and bees and it's also completely surrounded by the meadow's flowers too, making this one one of the most beautiful valleys in Minecraft. The valley is so long, I think it would be perfect for a peaceful town building project. What would you build in this valley? Let me know if you decide to play on any of the seeds in this video. I hope some of them have sparked your imagination.